today for our running series uh, exercise, we're going to introduce windmills. We're going over the concept of windmills to load into hip rotation and specifically internal rotation. Earlier series or earlier segments that we've gone over have worked on lateral stability and avoiding any sort of hip lateral movement um, and creating that nice core stability um, from which our limbs to move freely from in this plane. But undeniably, when we land in particular with running, there needs to be, or there is, some internal hip rotation and therefore a little bit of lateral excursion, just slightly, we don't want too much. That's why it's good to create the stability. But it's also good to work into loading into that movement so that you're strong there, so that when you do have that load as you're transferring from foot to foot for running, that that tissue on the lateral hip and a little bit the posterior hip as well can withstand that external load. So we're going to work into it. Uh, we'll start on um, our knees. So again, pad up your knee if you need to, and we'll come into an inline lunge to start. So let's start with our right leg below us, right under our hip, and our left leg in front. Now what I'll have you do is just bring that left leg out slightly, maybe 45 degrees out to the side. And we're going to be loading our left posterior lateral hip, okay? So uh, what I like to do is cross my arms um, so that I've got somewhere to go. We're going to do an arm extended version as well in a moment. Now this is a hip hinge, but we're hinging out sort of diagonally. So I'll show you from the front and show you from the side. And we're also creating a little bit of torso rotation. So what in essence we're doing is we're loading that lateral left hip and we're coming into internal rotation of that left hip as well. So you're gonna sort of stick that left hip out and away, again, maybe a 45 degree angle. We're sort of making an X with our body and then we're coming up. So that's how it looks like. I'll come at this angle. So you start it in line, bring that knee out to about 45 degrees. Then you're going to hinge, but hinge out diagonally, loading that posterior lateral hip coming into internal rotation here in the front and then come back up again. So all the while I want you to think about stacking that canister and maintaining that nice long torso because we're not here trying to flex our, our torso, we're trying to load that hip. So let's try that again to the left. So as you load into that left, you're shooting it out 45 degrees, you're rotating your torso, nice long neck, hopefully you feel a little bit of load here and then come on up. Let's do that a few more times. Feeling a good, strong contact with your left foot in the floor. Good, don't forget to breathe. Long neck, push into that posterior lateral left hip and come on up. Beauty, let's try that on the right side. So, left knee is down, right knee is up. Bring that right leg out to about 45 degrees, cross that, those um, arms over. And then again, we're gonna shoot our right hip out and away at about a 45 degree angle, rotating our torso, maintaining that canister, and come on up, okay? That canister is important because otherwise maybe we're, we're coming into side flexion and collapsing our canister in one direction, then it would offload our hip. So again, try and push, stay nice and long in your spine, push into that right hip, and come on up again. Try that a couple more times. Don't forget to breathe, nice long neck. Hinge out to the side, low that hip, and come on up again. Okay, let's try the left side again. Now we're gonna do an arms up version. So, inline lunge to start, left leg comes out. You're going to raise your left arm up to the sky if it feels good. So nice and straight and strong. And I want you to maintain that arm coming straight up through the sky. Now your right arm is going to come to the floor. So instead of them being crossed, we're doing the exact same motion, but we've got extended arms. So then your right arm will come and touch the floor just in front of your knee, and then you'll push and rotate up. So that left arm staying straight towards the ceiling, 
and up. If you feel you're losing that hip um, loading, then take the arms out of it, that's fine. But here we're introducing some arm movement because then we can possibly introduce load later. Okay, try that a couple more times with the arms, see how you like it. Load that left hip, touch the ground gently, then raise on up. Okay, let's try that from the right. So right leg out in front, comes out to 45 degrees. Start with your arms crossed if you want to orientate yourself, good. And then that right arm comes up, the left arm is going to come towards the ground, load into that right hip, and then press on up. Good, nice long spine. Try that a few more times. Feel good ground contact with your right foot. And last time. There you go. So, again, this is a good exercise to load that posterior lateral tissue that inevitably has to work during running and that we want to build strength and capacity so that that load, that continual repetitive loading um, is easy for that tissue to withstand. So give that a try, a few reps on each side, see how you feel in the coming days and then maybe integrate it into your mobility routine, um, three to five reps on each side a few times and then we can work into it.